Good evening, everyone. It's a lovely Friday evening. What are you all up to? Today is day 15 of the poetry writing challenge. And today we're going to talk about a B word. <laughs> what is that word? Um, when I finish writing this poem today, I sent it to Angel for him to just look over and edit it. And incidentally, he said today was the day that uh, they were actually supposed to announce uh, the budget day for us here in Trinidad and Tobago. So it's it's funny how it really aligns with that uh, because everybody is, uh, um, I don't know if to say excitedly, but everybody is anticipating the budget to see what is being located to where. So, my poem for today is, uh, yes, you should budget it. Yes, you should budget it. And here goes. Today is Friday, the 15th of September. And that puts a smack at the center. Two weeks to go until the month's end. More month than money nothing left to spend wouldn't you like this story to have a different outcome where expenses don't exceed your income it's a fact we're living within a tough economy and we need some measure of financial security how about you start if you haven't by doing a b u d g E T. Yes, I said it. Make a plan for your money. To many, a budget is equivalent to a curse word. Who dare suggest something so absurd? However, over time, when you balance income and expense, you realize that a budget does make a lot of sense. Instead of drifting through life, aimlessly it keeps you on a progressive path of slow and steady you won't be wondering where your money all went because you were tracking every dollar and every cent a budget keeps you in check with reality as you give the needs and not the wants your priority trust me call hard cash buy stuff way better so please don't let your credit card become your master while we're young we should maximize our financial moments with the aim of securing a comfortable retirement a budget helps you keep the end in mind thus minimizing wastage of your money and your time Financial issues can make you physically and mentally ill. And then that illness is added to your growing bill. Doing a budget may seem like going against the norm, but you'll find peace after that raging storm. Financial peace and wellness is not an illusion. However, it can only be activated with your decision. And that, my friends, it's yes, you should budget it. Make a plan for your money. And that's something that both Angel and I are very passionate about. And I would say Angel more than me, if I had to um, rate it, that he is very passionate about it. Because we went through a period in our life where we had debt. Debt. We had debt. But uh, we didn't want to be stuck in it, uh, and uh, we found a way out. And that way came via Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. Since we've done that, uh, and uh, we are debt-free, which is a really good feeling, um, Angel furthered himself in terms of being financially, um, how to put it, wise or 
he studied it in terms of uh, things you should know to equip yourself uh, to make better decisions. So he went, uh, we both went uh, to Tennessee and we did the financial coaching master series course. So both Angel and I, we are financial coaches and he furthered his study here where he became a certified financial advisor. So if the, the um, line with the credit card rub you the wrong way and you maybe have some comments or so, you could place your comments, but Angel will be responding <laughs> to that, to those comments there. So, and I just have my book here. So I got this book from Dave Ramsey and this is where our journey started. You know, reading, uh, let me get it good. Yeah. Reading the total money makeover and the thing that really touched me and uh, made me really read and, and, and look at the principles within this book was the testimonies that people gave people who were in debt and they came out of it by following the seven baby steps which he outlined here dave ramsey that is he outlined that and when i heard those stories i wanted that story to be mine so angel and i both and and that's the that's the important thing we both got on board to do this and uh, it took us some time but we continued till the end till we saw the light at the end of the tunnel so i urge you all to if you haven't done it consider doing a budget make a plan for your money because you work hard for it so don't let it get out of your hands or escape so easily and that my friends is my thoughts on the budget so have a good evening um let me see nikki good evening again yes the uh, ramsey yeah angel is actually showing me comments here because um apparently it's coming up faster on his phone than on my screen here um alicia good evening to you uh michelle yes budgeting hard <laughs> yes <laughs> definitely we have to um Kevin, good evening. Yay, Kevin, my batchmate is on. Have a good evening. Um, Cynthia, uh, Financial Peace University. Yeah, that's um, Dave Ramsey's course, which we also, um, we, you could say we introduced the course to some people here because we went, we studied for it, and then we were helping families. We were helping, you know, couples just uh, master their thoughts where their finances were concerned so have a good evening everyone if you all have any questions or comments please feel free to share if this brought value to you as i said share it so, so bye and thanks again for the support and encouragement all details